Hi, Mark Diaz here for 2DAnimation101.com. In this lesson, I'm gonna show you how you can animate any photo or painting the right way. There are basically two ways to animate a picture. The wrong way and the right way. In this tutorial, I will cover how to do it the right way using Cartoon Animator 4 and Photoshop. You can use any imaging software, I just like Photoshop. To do this, we just need to follow six steps. One, get a public domain photo. Step two, prepare the image for animation. Step three, rigging the body. Step four, rigging the head. Step five, adjust eyes and mouth. And then step six, animate the painting. Okay, so let's start with step one. Get a public domain photo. For this, all you have to do is go to Google Images and search for pictures that are labeled for reuse and specifying large size. For this tutorial, we will be working with the Mona Lisa. Then we follow up with step two, prepare the image. When you have an image, all you have to do is separate it in three layers, the background, the body, and the head. In Photoshop, the preparation of the background is pretty easy. All you do is duplicate the Mona Lisa layer, then use the lasso tool to select the Mona Lisa. Then go to Edit, Fill, and in the dialog box, choose Content Aware as Contents. Have Color Adaptation on, and use blending as normal with 100% opacity and press OK. You will have something like this. Then you make another duplicate of the Mona Lisa and use the lasso tool again, but this time will be to make an extraction. From there, extract the head and paint the body with shadows using the clone stamp tool to get something like this. After you have the image separated, all you have to do is export them as PNGs with transparency and you're set to go. My files are this, the background, the body and the head. Now we continue to step three, rigging the body. Now inside Cartoon Animator 4, all I do is click on create G3 free bone actor. Then in composer mode, all I do is add six bones for the body like this. Then to avoid the body moving weird, we want to select the root bone, then click on add pin, and in the workspace, add some pins to make the painting hold that position in the image. Now, the body is ready, time to rig the face. So let's go to step four, rigging the head. For the face, we select the bone of the face, then go to layer manager, and then click on the plus icon. That way we can add the image of the head to this rig. I like to leave the keep parent transform to have the head connected to the body when it imports. This will import the image in a huge size covering all the body. And to fix that, just pick the transform sprite tool and adjust the size and position of the head. Now, with the head selected, click on the drop down menu of the head creator tool and select Convert to Morph Based Head. This will open the Head Creation Tool dialog box and all you have to do is follow the instructions on each step until you have the face fully rigged. This is the end result. You can see that now the face, or actually the head, is rigged. Then we can make some adjustments to this face by changing the eyes and mouth. So that's step five adjust eyes and mouth. For this, all we do is go to composer mode and then go to content manager and then open morph eye. Select human and from the list, I will choose F05 brown by double clicking on it. This will add new eyes to the Mona Lisa and also gives me the ability to change them using the eyes settings. From there, I edit the eyes so they look as if they were part of the painting. I do the same for the mouth and now the Mona Lisa is fully rigged, ready to go. 
So let's move on to step six, animating the painting. For the animation, I just import a background, so it looks like it's the Louvre, and then I just animate following these simple steps. Step one, add a voice track. Step two, animate the rotation of the head using the face puppet tool. Step three, animate some gestures using the face key editor and finish with step four by animating the body using the 2D motion key editor. And voila, we have an animation. I just add some music and camera movement and finish with an animation like this. Hey, you want to know the secret of the real Da Vinci Code? Okay, here's the secret. I'll be back. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'm looking forward to seeing what photos or paintings you animate. If you're interested in learning how to do all of this step by step in a very detailed course, you can check our full training in Cartoon Animator 4. You can go to 2d101.com forward slash Mona Lisa. This is Mark Diaz for 2dAnimation101.com. Until next time, take care.